Really hope your numbers came up. And if not, well, hey, there's always Saturday. And why don't you join me for that at half seven when five more people will be in it to win it. I'll see you Saturday night for In It To Win It. Have a great night until then. Good night now. I don't like the sound of that at all. Yeah! What the hell's going on? Oh my god. And I'm just gonna give up. So what do we do now? Strange. New drama at five past nine, a part of the Saturday night lineup on BBC One. This is BBC One in the South. Now the ten o'clock news with Hugh Edwards and Caroline Richardson. A big step towards peace. Israelis and Palestinians talk of living without war. The leaders stand together after a five-hour summit and promise vital concessions. But the reaction among hardliners on both sides has been hostile. We'll be assessing the prospects for peace. Also tonight, Mr Blair fights off conservative demands for a full Iraq inquiry. Bonanza for Liverpool, Europe's culture capital for 2008. And Americans agog as one of their biggest celebrities is caught up in a share scandal. In the South, it's time for action, not words. Safety demands are made after a notorious stretch of road claims two more victims. And we hear why this consultant can no longer operate in his own hospital. Good evening. Israelis and Palestinians are said to have made a big stride towards peace in five hours of talks with President Bush today. Ariel Sharon, the Israeli Prime Minister, and his Palestinian counterpart, Abu Mazen, both declared a belief in their peoples living side by side in peace and security. The summit was held in Jordan, and the Americans say this presents a realistic chance of long-term peace. Israel's Ariel Sharon promised to dismantle some illegal Jewish settlements, and he moved closer to accepting an independent Palestinian state. While Abu Mazen renounced terrorism against Israel and pledged to embrace democracy and the rule of law. 